Okay, welcome to Phrasal Verbs with Bear. I am happy to say that there are not many with bear. So, many of them are driving expressions, much like pull. Many of pull phrasal verbs are driving expressions. If you bear off the road, and it's usually the road, it means you're on a road and you slightly turn to the left or slightly turn to the right. It's very similar to veer off. Although, I should add, when you bear off the road, you do it willingly and you just turn off the road. When you veer off the road or skid off the road, usually you do that accidentally. You don't want to veer off the road. So this is a difference. When you bear off the main road, you're still on a road. You're on a smaller road than the main road that turns to the left or turns to the right. So you bear off the main road onto another road. When you veer off the road or skid off the road or go off the road, then you didn't want to leave the road, but you left the road because you were skidding or maybe you uh, you lost control of your vehicle. So when you lose control of the car, you veer off the road, you skid off the road or you go off the road. But you would bear off the road when you choose to do so and you're a driver and you bear to the right. Yeah, bear right, bear left. I think those GPS Things very often say that, bear left, bear right. Well, they mean bear off this road to the left, to the right. And if something bears you off to somewhere, it carries you to that place. So you might say the wind bore us off course, meaning that it took us away from our intended destination. It carried us in that direction, off course. You, but you might say the train bore my son off to college. Sounds very formal to me, that kind of language, and so I wouldn't recommend it in everyday situations. But yeah, bear somebody off, carry somebody off, whisk somebody off. Both of those we're going to look at in future. So uh, whisk somebody off, carry somebody off. It means tran uh, transport somebody, wh whisk somebody off, uh, carry somebody off. Yeah, they would be very similar to bear somebody off, but it's quite rare, that one. Now, if someone is bearing down on you, that means they're chasing you, they're coming after you, they're running after you, and they're getting closer and closer and closer. And when somebody's bearing down on you, they look threatening. Yeah, you wouldn't say that somebody who's uh, running after you with pleasant motives is bearing down at you, but bearing down on you. You would only say this bearing down you when someone's got threatening motives, when they want to get you in some kind of way. So if the police are chasing you, they might be bearing down on you because you probably don't want them to catch you. But if some attackers are bearing down on you, terrorists are bearing down on you, that means they're getting closer and closer. And um, yeah, it, they're coming at you in a threatening way. They want to attack.